Ha! Hello, hello! Welcome to one more episode of Professional Dice Rollers. Uh, finally, we managed to do it twice in two weeks, which is a good thing, I think. Um, <laughs> but we'll see how it goes. So, today we'll start with episode 29, which I thought it would be cool to name it Heart of the Sea. Um, and we'll find out why during the session, hopefully. So yeah, I'll do what I usually do every session, which is start with a brief recap of last one, of the last session, and then we can bring uh, bring on everyone, everyone's beautiful faces, and then we'll start with the session itself. So, in episode yeah, episode 28, Gravel to Stone, um, the players had to deal, dealt with the aftermath of the Battle of Valiant. Although they managed to conquer it back from the grasp of Alexander the Hill, um, it was at a great cost. Many lives were lost, many good people um, perished and were buried in a ritual uh, as characteristic of this part of the continent, thrown into the sea. Um, and after that, they had to deal also with the Five Whispers, an a secret shady or organization that helped them retake the city um, at a cost that they agreed uh, upon their arrival to the city, which was they would take no credit for the reclaiming of the city and someone else in the name of the Five Whispers would uh, take credit for the entire masterminding of the plan. And because they agreed to that, they met um, they met Mr. Gravelfoot, which was which is a dwarven fellow. Um, which the story was is supposed to be coming from Southian, another city of the United, Na United Nations over the Val Coast, um, as a representative. And he was the one that hired them to help in retaking the city. So he was the person that should be commended for all these efforts and for the victory of the um, Allied forces. Although not everyone was very happy with this outcome due to some lies having been um, have been weaved through rumors here and there that uh, maybe the party wasn't as virtuous as they would like to come out uh, in the picture. But ultimately, they did agree because they uh, with the plan because they already promised and everything was already in motion. There was not much they could do anyway. Um, they could protest all they wanted, but the rumors were out there and changing them would be more trouble than just facing them. Or so they think. After that, they delivered the necklace, a necklace that Valefer possessed. It was a gateway to a spirit prison, imprisoning uh, countless evil spirits and forbidding them to go into the, descending to the Nine Hells to raise an army in, of inimaginable strength. Um, that necklace that they rescued the letter from once it was sucked inside uh, they figured out it was this prison i just mentioned and uh, now they trusted it to ilir um, umat the supreme commander of the maritime council of the city um, so he could safe keep it somewhere else and he said that he knew exactly where to lead it but he couldn't tell them uh, for their own safety after that a bit of downtime happens. We, um, I, mess I spoke to the players during the week. They kind of told me what I wanted to do. So the simple stuff I kind of passed through. We made some rolls, but there's still some unfinished business that I wanted. They wanted to do on stream. So we'll begin with that in episode 29 of Professional Dice Rollers. Let's bring everyone up then. Hello, hello again. Hello. Hello. All right, everyone. The first day of the downtime has passed. You were convoked to the meeting with Kernorion, and he explained the plan. Uh, you met Mr. Gravelfoot, and you were informed that the previously the mansion owned by Alexander the Hill would be give, gifted to you um, as collateral for all, all the hard work that you've um, you've done. Um, eventually, you went back to your uh, places. ZP had a off stream. ZP had a very com long conversation with Kiran in his room. Um, and now I believe 
during that same night, ZP? Would you do it or would you wait and do it during the week, the rest of the people? Um, it depends on what time it is. Uh, she would... It's, it's not too late, yeah. You probably finished with Kiran um, after one hour of chatting, so let's say 9pm. Okay, uh, then I would go on to, to Tenzerius. This room. Okay. Uh, so, Tenzer, as you're in your room after an, an intense day of training and then you were summoned to this impromptu meeting, uh, you're currently with your sister in your room and you hear a knock on your door. Yes, who is it? Um, it's me. Come in. I open the door. Hi. Hey. Um, what's up? Would you, would you mind to come with me to um, Flavor's room? I want to talk to you both. Okay. Give me a second. Phil, I'll be right back, okay? Uh, don't um, forget to keep right. everything clean, okay? I sort it out. Um, do, do you want to leave her with Hi, maybe? No. I don't know. Is she I mean, okay? Is she okay alone? Yeah, she's okay. She's okay. I can behave, yes. Yeah? Kinda oh, gives you a, a naughty smile. Mm. <laughs> come on. Come. Hey. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. In a minute. Don't take too long. Okay. Mm. Okay. So let's go, Zippy. Tell me. Okay. Okay. Hey, then I go and I knock on Valefra's room. Valefra. Am I there? Uh, <laughs> yes. Well, by now, yes. After the time that Zippy spent speaking to Kiran. I okay. assume so. I don't know. If you're somewhere else, let me know. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> now I can be there. Because, okay. you know, due to my dwellings in the nighttime. But this is after the downtime, right? Uh, no, so this is still the first day after your first visit. Oh, okay. Okay, okay, um, okay. Okay. I'll be there, yeah. You've been in your room maybe like for 15 minutes now. Yeah, probably the... finish up all the, the alcohol. Yeah, finish the bottle and uh, you hear a knock on your uh, door. Don't forget about the elf. It's very important. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> both of them. <laughs> Would you finish both of them? Uh, as I see you walking in, I do too. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, can oh, I? Oh, sorry, last drops. Sorry. <coughs> it, it, it's let, fine. Let her open, <laughs> opens the door while chugging. <sighs> last drops, sorry. It, 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 it's okay, don't don't worry. Um, I didn't warn you we were gonna be here. So, um, I want to talk to you both. Is that okay, Fluffer? Do you have time? Well, like you said very well, first, you didn't warn me. Second, you want to talk No, to I didn't. I'm very sorry. I'll allow it. Okay, that, that, that's good. Okay, um, so there's something I need to tell you both that I've already talked to Kiran and that I've told Hai about. Okay. Before our battle, because I thought it would it would play some sort of role, but it I am not sure if it did yet. But anyway, I want you all to know this. And um, this concerns a time in my life where we did not know each other. And, uh, okay, I'll, I'll just go directly into that. Um, Tenzer, there's... grab your weapon. This might go wrong. Oh, boy. <laughs> Come on, it's... I think it's all right. Um, You're an evil being! I'm... I really hope not, but the truth is I don't know. Danny? Hmm. Um, uh, this is weird for me to talk about, but um, I remember a time when I, well, I remember growing up and having a family with a father and a mother and a younger sister, and um, then there's a time in my life that I don't remember about. Hmm. Um, one day, I just woke up by the side of a river I did not know. And I had a big, big bruise on my head and everything about me was sore. And I looked at myself in that river and a lot of time had passed since I remember, I did not even remember my face as it was. 
and um, I, I managed to go over to Wilkham's and that's where Igrid found me. The, the girl, you remember the girl, uh, the dwarven girl, uh, Igrid, yeah, yeah. She, she was my friend mm -hmm. and she was the one that found me and brought me to Bahamut's church and uh, actually her and Garjinsen um, at Bahamut's church saved my life and over a lot of time I thought that I would follow the ideals of Alteria because Alteria was all I knew about but both churches of Bahamut and Alteria f tried to find where I came from and I, I, nev I never found that out and I thought that um, Hmm. Yeah? D do you want to say something, Bluffer? Were you saved in the Bahamut church? They did save my life. I was about to die. Okay. And I would just say ungrateful. Why? Following another entity, you were saved by the Almighty One? I remembered Dalteria as being the god that and the war maiden being the god that brought me up and the yeah, only link to, to my family. I would religion with you. Anyway, it's good. It's alright. So, you have a time gap? That How many you days? Remember jack shit? With that time gap? Um, 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 d days, uh, f 40 years. Holy that shit. That I don't remember. About. Where's your family now? What? I, I still don't know. Oh. I never found that out. Okay, so where... No one where did this come into the battle and what you wanted to talk with us? Another thing in Do you remember when we were inside the necklace, Olafur? Ah, fun yeah. times. Did you have visions inside the, 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 the necklace? Uh-huh. I had a vision of a lady um, in red and she spoke to me telling me that our plan was in motion that i was her pawn of some sort and that she would need me that what i was doing would be very helpful for our mission and she referred to me as if she knew me okay and, uh, sorry to barge in again go when ahead. you were inside mm -hmm. you had visions of evil I had them also why did so I go in in the first place she might she might be someone evil she might be because I also had visions of evil like killing lots of people that I don't, didn't even know when I was saving Kieran in our battle, instead of focusing on the War Maiden's light, that same voice spoke to me on the outside. It was not just inside the necklace. I knew you were evil. I do not know if I'm evil. <laughs> I know. But the... Well, then help me find out how am I evil. Because I have no clue what this is. So share it. And I do not want to put us all in danger. I froze. So. Oh, fudge, I was muted. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. <coughs> Good or evil, you are the one that defines that. You, your deeds, your actions. I... So you shouldn't worry about thinking that you might be evil, because we know that you're not. And. I... I don't think that we are a weak party. You're not alone. Beat me, Valefer, Rai, Kirin. You've proven I, yourself I, in this party. I thought I could put this all behind me and go ahead and live my life, but... Obviously, obviously you can't, because you heard a voice again. But yeah, you're right, I can't. Did that voice and help you, deal this. or just say something? The voice offered to help Kieran oh. instead of the War Maiden. Helped to... Offered to bring him back. I did not concentrate on that. I kept focusing on the light. Didn't Alteria speak and, to you 
before. Before what? I'm before. sorry. Did, 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 did Altirius ever speak to you or do you remember? Not that clearly. Not spoke, spoke. I guess DM. <laughs> did Altiria ever speak to me in nope. that way? No. Okay. You have no information about it. No, I do not. Okay. I don't think. And have you tried reaching? It's scary. I tried answering. After oh. you got spoken to? I tried answering. That did not work. The vision was over and I could not. Trust I'm not talking any about other. the version. Forget the evil lady or whatever she is. I'm talking it's about. It's the same voice. Your deity. Uh, you're talking about Alteria. Alteria, uh, huh. yeah. Well, you're gonna find this silly, as you always do, but I believe that Alteria should not be called upon. She will call upon me. Uh, so no, I don't. I don't try and reach I'm out. I'm kind of learning that the hard way, but it's not silly. But it can be a desperate time. <laughs> Oh, it, it, she's evil. Valtteri might answer you. I do not know yet what concerns this or what this thing wants. So if it concerns only me, I do not feel it would be right to call upon a deity to solve my own life. Okay, so before you, you continue with the conversation, let me just give my two cents here about a bit of the notions you would have from the world so okay good more more zp than valefer because valefer doesn't know shit about religion well he knows <laughs> the basics um so you know that people with divine power are extremely rare rare yeah yeah uh i already mentioned this once or twice i'm just reaffirming so you remember mm -hmm. uh so clerics are a rare thing paladins are a rare thing uh some divine druids are a rare thing um so someone that has powers is something that you don't see every day. Someone that can speak to whatever gives it power is something even rarer. Uh, Valefer, you probably wouldn't have these notions, but nope. uh, so, so for you, what, what happened to you is just normal because you didn't have any previous background on it. So it just, all right, it happened, it must happen to more people. Um, for you, ZP, you would know that for this thing to be speaking to you, there are two options. You're either very important to it, or um, it has great power, or both. Okay, uh, I'll say this in more colloquially to, to okay. them. Then. So, well, now you have this information, because it sounds <laughs> like... So now you, you realize, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Really rare. Should have gone to Paladin school. <laughs> Fuck. I'm gonna start working on a time machine. Hold on, Valefer. Just give me some years. <laughs> some millennia. So, yeah. Well, so, that can solve a lot of things. Zippy. So this me. is all tell what us. I wanted to tell you because I I need you to basically keep an eye on me. Don't worry. Be mindful that if I for somehow since you're going evil and might hurt anyone. He's not might, going evil. I might put an end to you. I asked Hai to do that. He Great. denied that. So I'm glad you will take that offer. Was <laughs> No, he I I'm not That's not gonna happen he... for effort. No, I understand your friends. You're not my friend. You're enemies, right? Mortal enemies? Uh, let's break the ice. Let's just say I still don't trust you. It takes I time. I told you all I know. So. I don't recall How you do doing I the know? same to me. How do I know? You're not lying. Roll inside. I... Oops. <laughs> inside. <laughs> break skeleton. Roll inside, dude. <laughs> Um, if I oh, but I don't have that. But I could some other day. This breaking character, some other day. Um, 
I have something like that makes me say it, tell the truth, right? So that he trusts zone me truth. more. Truth. Yeah. Zone of truth. truth. Yeah. Truth. Yeah. Truth serum. <laughs> no, it's a zone of truth. But I. Truth or dare. The truth I, party. <laughs> Of the but it's kind of like the the person the person knows that it's under the zone of truth, so can like avoid some stuff. But I really have to tell the truth. Is that right? Oh, so, yeah. So how the spell works? Spell effort. Uh, she explains to you that the spell is basically uh, inside that zone. Um, everyone's com everyone that fails the saving throw is compelled uh, to say the truth. You've done that. But I can force myself but, to but they, fail, they, they right? Can... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Zippy. What is the, the like the radius of the range of that spell? A stadium size. <laughs> do you do, do you do you mean How to run away? How long can you that power? <laughs> do you mean to run away? What? What, what? Why do you want to know that for? Do you, do you want to? Just curious because it's a very interesting spell and ability. Okay. Mm. Oh. Who do, who do you wanna who do you wanna the, the person will will know they're on the zone of truth. Oh, I, I, I'll feel that. Yeah. Okay. okay. So, are you using that to tell me the truth? No, I'm not right now. I did not think you would need a zone of truth to trust me. No, but I don't need do, that. I don't need that at all. I wouldn't. Ooh. I wouldn't mind. No, no, don't worry about it. So. I'm just thankful for the things you've done and the way you help us and save us idiots who try to fight. True. That is the truth that I feel. Regarding trust, that's quite of a process. Okay. A started process then. Nah, <laughs> you still need you still need to fill in the forms and do all the paperwork and talk to Eli, ask him about the formula. Uh, no, it's not C. It's uh, it's the paper. Uh, try to ask him for the Z X B stuff. It's really specific. I'll write it down. <clears throat> I. I I do know he's lying, right? Yeah, he was, am I, am, am I was, that gullible? <laughs> it's brimmed brim with irony, the comments, yeah. I, I, I'll, I'll be sure. To it's not it. a deception! <laughs> Too late. I'll, I'll be sure to do that. Thank you for listening, guys. Yeah, Zippy. You, you have should, nothing to worry should, about. You should go back to, to your sister. Yeah, whatever. Get the fuck out. She has autopilot. <laughs> New feature. <laughs> yeah, I guess I have to go down. Go back down. And I'll go away. And I'll go sleep. Because this is but too much. And then, as they leave, I grab the rest of the alcohol. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. Uh, but but I'll, I'll say with, like, with the alien end. Go ahead. Go along. Uh, Goodbye. And I, I, turn, I turn to ZP uh, as we're leaving and I say, if, if, so, if something ever happens, I will turn you into a goldfish. So... And I and I walk away. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I, I I like goldfish, and I walk away. <laughs> Very well. And so you head to your respective rooms, and um, the night passes. So yeah, during the two weeks break, there are three more things we'll deal with, and then we'll finish the break. Some things that happen meanwhile as well. The uh, the paperwork for the mansion reaches you somewhere in the middle of the on the end, by the end of the first week. Mm -hmm. uh, then Zerush, you are presented with a document that says that legally you now own four fifths of the legal rights to the mansion. And Kiran, you also are presented with a similar paper. Um, you're also informed that from this point onwards you can relocate to the mansion if you wish to abandon the uh, den of the five whispers. Okay. I want to I wanna talk to Kieran eventually about that. Okay, fine. Uh, before we do that, let's yeah, leave that for the last time. Eventually. Uh, during the first week, uh, 
whoever wants to starts attending the Maritime Council meetings. Uh, it's nothing too specific, it's just a lot of discussing of, about the future of the Maritime Council. A lot of lives were lost, so they're talking about recruiting, sending their, uh, their emissaries to the uh, northernmost corner of the uh, United Nations, going to South Vietnam as well, trying to recruit people. Um, in a similar fashion to how yourselves got recruited in Marneth, if you recall, those many, many, many days ago. <laughs> um, so yeah, nothing, nothing too, too intense in the meetings, but they do take like hour and a half, two hours. There's also mention of the issue that you need to replace one of the admirals, uh, but no names are put forward. There's extra meetings with only Elite, Vanessa, and Ori, which are which is the supreme commander and the two existing admirals. Uh, there's talk about promoting one of the commodores or one of the captains. Um, and now you kind of start understanding, um, you, have, you start to have more insight on how the Maritime Council works as an organization, because until now you were so many times out of the city, you didn't really have time to understand how the Council worked. So let me just bring up a quick note here. Um, so yeah, you, you now are aware that there are two branches of the Maritime Council, the ones that mainly stick to land and then the maritime branch branch that goes on sea um, and the land branch is called the anchors and you go from irons to lieutenants to captains uh, so the only captain you've met was uh, Xel if you recall correctly the man you saved from the prison where Elite was in prison as well um, and then you have the salt skins which are the people that go on sea and you start as a rower, you upgrade to a deckhand, and then you, you upgrade to a commodore. And captains and commodores are the highest ranking in the branches. And to go up, you need to detach yourself from a branch and become an admiral. Basically, that's it. Uh, there's a minimum of three admirals in, um, in play at the same time. Uh, da -da -da. And then, obviously, there's the supreme commander, which is uh, elite at, at this moment. Uh, so yeah, you are informed that probably one of the captains or a Commodore will be upgraded to Admiral, but they're still not sure who it would be. Um, one of those days, Kiran, I assume you ask uh, Elive to meet you after the Admiral meeting or something. How do you used to proceed? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I just want to approach him and ask him for uh, if he has some time to speak alone. Like whenever. Okay. Um, sure. Uh, I after this meeting, if you want to wait around or meet me here in an hour or so. Yeah. Okay. I'll wait around. Very well. Um, so eventually he comes down from the um, higher floors of the building and it's just kidding. I'm ready to see you if you wish. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. And he gestures um, upstairs towards his office. Yeah, I follow him. Closes the door behind you. Please make yourself comfortable. Points towards a chair in front of his desk. I sit down and I lean over the desk to be close <laughs> with him and look him in, in the eyes. I say, um, I'm. first of all, thank you for the time to speak with me. Uh, secondly, I'm going to go straight to the point. I'd appreciate I, it. I uh, feel that you should tell us what you are going to do with the necklace, because if it weren't for us, you would probably still be rotting in that prison. If it weren't for you, we would never have been able to do the assault on the tower uh, close to Marneth. If it wasn't for the Five Whispers, we would never be able to retake the city. We are stronger together. We should band forces whenever we can, and we should disseminate information. So I would like to know where you're going to send the necklace, because if we find out that they're not trustworthy or there's something's happening to the necklace and we can't find you or, God forbid, you're imprisoned again, uh, there should be more than one person who knows where you're going to be putting that necklace. Kind of takes a deep breath. Look, I 
trust you. I recognize that without you, many things we've accomplished wouldn't be possible. But I also trust the people with whom I'll entrust the necklace. And I also know that telling you where it's going to be and telling you more details might endanger both you and them. Because first of all, they will know that I've told you. They will know that you have that knowledge. Second of all, if they're not happy with it, there might be repercussions your way. And if I didn't tell you, it was for your own safety. Uh, what do you mean they would know? If we don't go there, if we don't say anything? Yes, there are protections placed, let's call it like that. Protections placed on everyone that knows of their little secrets. Um, that if that information is passed on, they will be informed. Uh, have I ever heard of anything of the sort? Uh, make me an arcana. Any spell that can do or that? Or, oh. or history, whatever you... Uh, doesn't matter, natural one. Okay. No, I mean, you've heard of very powerful magics, and that is possible. Some that actually resemble miracles, but usually in very old books and stuff like that. Um, so, if you would believe those stories, something like that might be possible, but specifically this type of magic, you've never heard. Okay. Um, okay. Okay. Um, I don't exactly agree with that, but I respect your decision and I won't press the issue any further then. Um, no, there is something it, I can tell you, unless if it makes you feel at ease more easily. There are three people in this goddamn lands that I trust above all else. I would follow them blindly if they asked me for anything. Two of them saved my life in several occasions. And one of them is the person I plan on delivering the necklace to. Okay. Thank you, that's quite powerful indeed. I'm not sure if this um, reassures you, but... Uh... It does. It does. Thank you for sharing that. Um, last thing I wanted to ask you about, and I pull, pull out the fancy dagger. Mm -hmm. um, we found this in a safe in Alexandria's house. Do you recognize this symbol? I believe it is a wax seal, and I hand him the, the dagger. Let me take a look. Kind of inspects it, the symbol. Kind of thinks for a bit. Uh, no, not really. This is, I've never dealt with anything like this. It's completely unfamiliar to me. He hands you the dagger. But yes, I think you're right. It seems to be a seal of some sort for communication. Okay. Uh, I stash the, um, the dagger and I, uh, I get up and say, I won't take any more of your time. Thank you for what you've given me. And Very well. walk away. As you start walking towards the door, as you start opening, he kind of calls you, uh, Kiran. I close the door again and I turn around, yes. Believe it or not, I do think you're a very, a very wise individual. And don't think like I, everything you say goes on deaf ears. I pay attention to everything that's said to me. I don't know if you recall this, but uh, you once told me that people should learn, and given the opportunity, I should spread my knowledge, correct? Yes. In regards to the uh, Ardor girl, Leah. Yes. I'll give you a heads up. Maybe soon some things will change around here. And I might not be available on call as I've been now. Okay. Letting you know beforehand. Do whatever you want with this information, but everything will be revealed in time. Okay, very well. Um, can I still contact you in your dreams? Would that be fine? Even if the answer is no. 
to the help that we're gonna be asking. Yes, on some occasions I will be available, but there might be some places where you cannot reach me. Okay, then I'll take that in mind and not panic if I can't reach you <laughs> for whatever reason. Yes, please. No need for that. I will be safe, just on a different place. Okay, then. Uh, thank you for everything, and thank you for your kind words. It's not something I hear very often, and I bow. Kind of nods uh, reciprocally and says, and thank you as well for everything. We have made this place better. I hope you acknowledge that. <laughs> thank you. And I leave. That's okay, there you went. CP, you wish to take one of these days to um, go to the temple, correct? Mm -hmm. As I described previously, it's less of a temple, uh, more of a house that was repurposed to um, a place of worship. Um, so you recall from the first time you were here that the place is called. Uh, Second. Where I put this shit? Um, so yeah, you you've met Vic there, which was the head of the the worship place. Yeah. And as you um... Remind me, Vic was one uh, that I uh, yes. that welcomed me into a little bit of a ceremony one right. day. Yes, that was him. Uh... Yeah. Okay, so. Um, so you just walk up to the temple. I walk up to uh, to the temple and try and find Vic if I can. Uh, so yeah, so you recall that the place is called the Stalwart Gathering Grounds. Um, and you just waltz the, in. Uh, the yeah. tall... Stalwart. The, Stalwart stall Gathering Grounds. Um, you just go in and there's like three people standing there. Uh, one of them is just cleaning. One of them is in, um, in normal bands. Bands just lost in prayers, clutching a holy symbol. That you you recognize immediately as being the double shields of Alteria of the War Maiden, um, and in front uh, the main dais, kind of raised platform. There's a familiar shape of of Vic, uh, and he does not seem to to be. Really... His back is facing you. Yeah. yeah. Oh, um, hello, v Vic. Do you recall me? Uh, my name's Zephora. I oh. was here once, a long time ago. Oh, yes, yes, I, th I think I remember you. Um, oh, that's... Well, welcome back, it has been a while. Thank you. Uh, I'm glad to see you're all okay after all that went down. Well, yes, uh, we had some struggles, but uh, nothing we couldn't defend. Uh, all the followers came around and we, we managed to keep the place intact. Good. If there is anything you, you need the, from me he, uh, here in the church, Please let, let me know. I uh, thank you for your kindness, but it's it's pretty much all done by this point. I I want, wanted to ask a favor of you. Um, I do I not know help. if I've uh, never done this before, but um, me and a couple of friends um, would like to make this place our sanctuary from now on. I wondered if it was okay for me to make that for us. A sanctuary, you say? Mm-hmm. I see you've grown in power since we've last met. That I believe very, so. It's pretty advanced stuff. I've never met anyone that was able to perform such potent magic. I, I don't, don't know what to tell you. I uh, thank you for You're welcome. For that. By, by all means, do, do whatever is necessary. Do you need my aid? Um, I I, th I think I, I can do it alone, but I would very much welcome your, your aid. Yeah. Okay. I will, I will supervise it if, if if you allow me. Of course. Um, and I want to yeah. cast word of recall. Okay. So you start the ritual of making this your um, defined 
callback sanctuary. And it seems the, the spell seems to take effect and uh, you feel a, an instant connection to this place after a few minutes of just um, intaking the flow of energy and the, the residual divine power of this place that's left by countless and countless prayers. Um, you feel it just sink in and you feel this little spark of connection between yourself and the physical place of this tall world gathering grounds. Are you, are you done? Okay. I, I think so. I, I feel the connection into this place now. Okay. Well, I assume I'll be seeing you more often in this case. Well, I, I hope, sure hope so. Um, okay. And I, uh, I'd like to stay for a little while, too. Oh, yes. I mean, her church is our church, so please, by all means. Okay, Just so call me I'll... if you need anything. I'll get back to business. Thank you. He kind of slowly walks away. I would there for a while. I, w- I would just stay there and I don't know. Think about all the things that I just told all my close friends that I that I never <laughs> talked about to anyone because yeah. um, they don't know this, but um, other people in my life that know this about me. Um, knew me when I had no, knew, no no clue of anything, so I never actually had to tell anyone this besides okay. Ygritte. And Ygritte just spread it around when I needed help, but I never actually had to go uh, through all of this, so... Yeah. Okay. And so I will just... think about what Valefra told me about uh, him being so... Um, keen on knowing if I had ever spo- spoken to the War mm-hmm. Maiden. Okay. Very well. So you, you stay for a while, lost in thought, considering why this other entity is speaking to you and yours truly, the War Maiden, the one you've followed all these years, doesn't. Um, it leads you to some dark corners of your mind. Uh, some doubt starts to arise. You're not sure what all this means. Does she not care for you that much? Does, is she not po- as powerful as you thought? What does it mean? Uh, is this other thing that you don't even know what it is powerful enough to overpower the War Maiden? It's, it's all very confusing and weird and I just feel like screaming your lungs out at the same time as you feel like you want to cry or just bash your hands uh, against the wall but at the same time just feel a troubling calmness inside you, a stillness of mind with a little seed of turmoil just growing inside your chest. And so you stay there for a few hours and eventually you leave. You are free to visit again for reflection time if you wish during these two weeks. Meanwhile, if that is it, Valefra. It is. I believe one of these days you wish to go to the dedicated place of worship to the Dragon King. Is that it? Yep. Okay. So you, you ask around easily enough, and people tell you that the House of the Lawful is the place you're looking for. Um, you you follow the, the indications that you've got, and you, you reach a place that seems like what people describe to you. Um, uh, but by the way, meanwhile, both of you, in searching for this, you also know the information that the Valiant only holds places of worship for three deities, which is the Dragon King, the War Maiden, and the Wise Keeper. Uh, yeah, so you you approach this building, it's just a normal house in the same style as every other house is built, in this limestone, uh, white limestone, already kind of aged, with some green tint already appearing in most places, uh, but fairly well kept, uh, ample entrance, um, windowed sides, just normal house with two stories. Uh, in the first ring, by the way. The places of worship are, the three of them are in the first ring. And do you go in? Or what do you want to do? Yeah, I'll go in. Okay, you open the door. Uh, everything is dark inside. Uh, outside in the street you have some mage light and some sunlight coming from the slits in the fortified wall of the city. But inside there's just two or three candles and um, 
on the ceiling of the this first floor. There's a big um, painting mural on the ceiling of a big platinum dragon just uh, coiled and sleeping on top of what seems to be a nest atop a mountain top. Atop that mountain top. <laughs> yeah. um, and apart from that, it seems like a, a very fairly simple house uh, with. Okay. Refocus the camera. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it seems to be fairly empty at this time, apart from a single solitary um, individual that seems to be in this raised platform, the dais on the farthermost um, end of the, the room. Seems to be sprouting silvered robes, um, hooded at this point, and just walking around very slowly, lighting some candles, putting out others. Just in a very routinely way. I will not. I, will, I won't speak to him just yet. Okay. I'd, I'm. I'm just admiring the the painting mm-hmm. and thinking to myself, "Wow." So that's where I went. And this is where they come to you. Hmm. They do. <laughs> yes, I'll, is there? <laughs> they do. <laughs> Cortalos, is that you? <laughs> <laughs> and I'll I'll just sit for a bit and meditate. Okay. And uh, just reaching out and saying thanks for the help once again. I'm not one for thanks. And it was nice to meet you. <laughs> like face to eye. Or face, or which I'm enormous body thing. Okay. So you start saying these things like five, six minutes pass, and a few minutes later, the figure is circled around the this first floor and reaches reaches the place closest to you, looks at you, lights one more candle, still uh, it's back facing you, and continues her, uh, the routine, and you just hear a voice. Ah. Are you just gonna sit there, or are you gonna ask for something? And continues to light candles. Why should I ask for something? Well, most people that come here usually ask for something. (laughs) Uh, No, I was just, you know, speaking with the big guy up there. Uh, Speaking with the big guy. Who is this big guy? Is he your brother? <laughs> Continues to. <laughs> yeah, by the color of the scales, yeah. Mm. I sense you are new at this. I might have skipped some classes when I was a young dragonborn. Ah, if only you could go to a place of worship and ask questions, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're totally right. At this point, the figure stops the process and just starts slowly walking towards you with a cane, a wooden cane, just clunk, 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 and sits <coughs> beside you and takes the, pulls the hood down and sitting beside you, you see a dragonborn, uh, brass in scale color. Uh, but the scales are kind of lost their shine mostly, so you, you feel like this is a, an elderly individual. Yeah. Scales. So, can I help you or not? Uh, I don't want to be rude, but sorry I didn't present myself. <laughs> Name's Val, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. It's good to see Kin. Eh, well, not a common folk around, you know. Are you where you always from here? I know this no. might be personal. You're from the north? North from here, yes, but not too much north. Oh, okay. Well, some would say halfway north. <laughs> <laughs> And may I ask your name? 
Oh yes, of course. The name is Valiska. Valiska. You sound like a troll, man. <laughs> it's a troll name. Valiska. Okay. Does he all, does he also go by Val? <laughs> yeah, we usually we usually go by Val. No, Valiska. <laughs> I'm sorry, Valiska. Okay. Uh, yeah, you know, figured the whole shenanigan out. I muted this. <laughs> I have no idea. I just got recently. I accepted who I was. So. I've just been crying in love for help, calling him names. Uh, he's been helping me fight and protect others. Only the mm. second one is the part that seems like when he hacks. And I've had a rough life, you know, trusting others, protecting others. It's still a very thing, very new thing to me. Yeah. So, so the individual next to you just looks at you. It's very narrow eyes, right, from the elderly yes. age, kind of. Moves, uh, moves the hands towards your face, kind of pinches the scales on your cheek. Eh. You look older, but you talk like a teenager. <laughs> You've discovered yourself. He's giving you power to protect others. Eh. <laughs> How old are you? <laughs> I'm in my 20s. You sound like you're 16. Well, just because I like pranks, alcohol, brawling. I take it back. You sound like you're 15. <laughs> I imitated well. laugh. <laughs> Not funny. Well, it is to me. Very well. Ah, oh, yeah, but I knew I know some things, you know. Stuff that doesn't matter, some royal stuff, you know, royal manners, protocols. Mm. But I've so abandoned more, that life. So more bullshit you're telling me. So from now, now what I've understood of you is, you know bullshit and you know more bullshit. I showing my family crest. Fuck it. What is this? I child drawing. It kind of squints towards the the crest. What is yes. this? is the crest of the royal family of Dracus, up north. I don't know. I was born in Tukturuk. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> hey, you're stupid, eh? Did you just call me? Huh? <laughs> What's your armor class? <laughs> 16. 15, 16. Uh, you feel the hur hurricane just rises and... Smacks you across the the ear. Ow! The, my ear, it hurts. Okay, okay, I deserved it. I deserved it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you why you can come in here and flash a stupid child's drawing and expect people to know you? Uh, no, you're the first people I've ever told, like for my whole life, who I really was. Then you are stupid. You just met me. Why would you say such thing to a person you just met? <laughs> because you seem wise. I am. might you be a great this. guide. Guide? I can barely see in front of my eyes. A guide to teach me in the words of Bahamut. Oh, yes, that I can be. See? <laughs> 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 All right, enough. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So, why is speeding when I said all that thing that, you know... Everyone says that you're a paladin and do all that crap. You have to do what is right inside your head. There is no one that you must protect above all else, unless you really care for them. You are not granted the power to do someone else's bidding. You are granted the power, and he kind of sticks the finger, she kind of sticks the finger in your chest, to do what you bid of yourself. Continues poking you in the chest as she's saying this. I think that might be kind of a bad idea. <laughs> well, if you are, then I'm sure you shall lose your powers. Oh, like you lost, like someone lost his? Okay, sorry. Oh, <laughs> I, I have my captured. 
I have heard many stories of people just using the power granted by the dragon king. And she kind of points up to, towards the ceiling in ways that did not please them. But they didn't last long. The power abandoned those that do not follow the virtues inside their own heart. Okay. So, hypothetically speaking, if you are one that has a really big desire of vengeance, but in a way, like, to save family and regain honor, would you think that's correct? So you see a faint smile curl on her lips and she kind of goes, Ah, yes, vengeance can be just if the reasons are correct. And family is one of the correct reasons. So I assume that is why he has... He, he and she points out, yeah. he has granted you power. Because he thinks your quest is righteous. Mm. Even if it isn't, maybe he believes you shall understand that it isn't and turn back okay so i understand that and i look up we do not talk to him he talks to us yes you can call on him but he shall only talk to you when he seems fit yeah, he's not a great listener. No, not at all. Oh, no. That's where you're mistaken. He listens to everything. He listens to all. He assimilates the information. He weighs it in his big, big platinum scales. But he only intervenes when necessary. So I probably should stop all that name calling. Oh, have you been trying to call him? Is that what's happening? Well, sometimes, you know, since I don't know, I cried for help sometimes, and he, yeah, I felt an urge. And did it work? Well, I met him just a... days ago. Oh, so you have had a vision? Mm-hmm. Like, on top of a mountain, just like that one? Oh, that is very interesting. It is his favorite way to project visions. <laughs> I have been atop that mountain top once in my life and I was very glad you know these deities that roam the astral plane they are not very old they are they do not know what to do they are very young they are new gods they have to learn how to use their powers that's why people like you and kind of sticks the finger in your chest and people like me are rare very very rare because they are still learning to use the power. But him, and she points up, the Dragon King is one of the most quick to learn. That's why he can speak to us. That's why he can project visions and grant, grant more people power. There is only one or two that were able to express their will more viciously than the Dragon King. And that would be the wise keeper, the master of the arcane. And a wind caller. The wind caller and his, his will to surpass every obstacle. He has many followers because of that. He learns fast. But the Dragon King never uses the power in vain. But he's very, very powerful. So I'm lucky to be with the best. Yeah. I would say so, yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, you okay? I need some water. I'll be right back. And she kind of stands up costly and slowly walks away. Do you need any help? No, no, it is fine. Thank you very much. Vel, was it your name, Vel? Yeah, Vel. Vel, okay, Vel. I'll go. <laughs> very well. I'll go also. Uh, do you leave? Uh, no, I'll take a look around uh, if she's coming back, so... Okay. Yeah. So, like, ten minutes pass, yes. and then she comes back and looks... What? This was an excuse. I thought you were gone by now. 
<laughs> looks at you. Gotcha. No, I'm right here. You are right there. You did not get me. Uh, never mind. I just wanted to say thank you. Oh, uh, well, you're welcome. Feel free to pass by if you need more guidance. But not too often. I have other things to do. Yeah, like <laughs> trying not to die coughing. and. It is a very serious disease. Do not mock the ill. <laughs> do you want me to find someone who can cure you? I'm kidding, it's just old age. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> mm. oh. So your name was uh Valoska. <laughs> Valoska, no, Valiska. Oh, Valiska. <laughs> Young one, <laughs> child, listen to me. If you ever make your way up north. Visit the house of the lawful in Ilkams. They are big. They are much bigger than us. The kingdom allows for all kinds of worship. Mm. So they are free to grow. And they are not in a shithole like this. And he kind of points around the room. Ah, 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 We thankful of what our great god be thankful my ass I could be up there north, but no, I'm here, stuck. <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, you're right. Uh, let's, so you're one that would like to be in Tukturuk. Would you like to know, like, north, north? Not Tukturuk, that's very hot. North, north, yes. That's where you should find more people that worship the Dragon King. Yeah, yeah, I know, but would you like... No, I'm okay here, yes. So why are you bitching about this place? Because I like to complain. Ah. Must be something Dragonborn related. Perhaps. Do you like to complain? A lot. See, I told you. 15 year old. I <coughs> <laughs> like point. you then. And I, I might be off. Yeah. yeah. Bye! Good riddance. Yeah, yeah. Thank you very much. Very well. Uh, and you return. At this point, question. Does anyone stay in the den of the Five Whispers or do you relocate to the mansion? No. Mansion. I go to the mansion. Okay. Does anyone stay? Um, right. The mansion door. I, I wanted to, to ask you if I should, if I should um, look for the map in here. Or I, I would like to ask the guy inside the Five Whispers then if he has okay. a map. So, so they provide you with a local map of the region, yeah. So the South, uh, the United Nations, basically. Okay, but after that, yeah, sure. We all okay. relocate. Perfect. Uh, Rai, you also relocate? Uh, yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Uh, in that case, Desiris and Kirin, if you want to talk about the mansion that you wanted to speak, go ahead. <clears throat> oh, we're together? Yeah, I assume if you if all of you relocate to the mansion <laughs> during the night, you would. <laughs> it's not that important. It's all you. Oh, if you want to do it, it's fine. You have time now. If you okay, want. okay. Uh, so each one of us has a room. I I, I assume. Where is Kieran right now? In the main hall. Yeah, sure. The main main area of the first floor. So dining hall. Okay. I, I go. I'll, I'll give you a map of the mansion, mansion later, but you've seen it already. Oh, yeah, it's you've all been good. A times, yeah. I go towards Kirin, and I drop the paper on the table, the paper that I received, and I say, "It's yours. Take it." I turn. I turn to face. him and go. Uh, uh, what? Did you ever own a mansion before? Well, no. Now it's the time, it's yours now. Here we go. Look, I don't mind owning just one <laughs> fifth of it. It's, uh, one fifth? I don't like I mean, it's my it might be my OCD, I don't know. Take it, it's yours. I don't need it. What can Why I can you... I still remain here with my with my sister? 
of uh, look, why are you so quick to want to get to rid yourself of this mansion? Uh, I mean, I don't know. I just felt like I wanted, to, I wanted to give back, and uh, you were so keen on having a part. The mansion, I was like, why, why do I really need a mansion right now? I don't think it was ever mine to start off with. Was it? Um, I want to do an insight check on that. On the, it wasn't mine to start off with? Uh, yes. No, uh, no <laughs> on the whole, uh, if, if the reason he gave uh, for not wanting it, like, oh, if there's something more to it or not. Okay. I mean, does that is yeah. up to you. If, if, if you're spe speaking truthfully, uh, roll persuasion. If you're not, then roll deception. I don't know, it's up to you. Okay, I will roll, then I say if it's persuasion or... Uh... No, just say the number, and depending on okay. what Kieran rolls, you can, I'll tell you if you... Yeah, okay. Mine was 11. Okay, okay so... But... Natural one. Oh, shit. Okay. Uh, so... <laughs> I am being truthful are, with that. You're being truthful? Okay. I think so I want to rid myself of, of those memories of their okay. family, and I just think that... I don't want to be possessing that, I think. And I also think that Kirin will... Since he was so keen on keep on holding on to that part of the mansion, I, I think, like, okay, he feels good having something in his life, like... Real estate, free real okay. estate. <laughs> real estate. So uh, I was like, I mean, since it's real real estate, real estate, it has to be the complete part. So I want <laughs> Kieran to be like the the main owner of the of the okay. of the mansion. Well, Kieran, as a thank uh, you, you have the sense that with your insight, you have the sense that uh, he, I mean, he just wants to lose connections to this place basically and since you were the only one that showed interest in keeping it he's the first one that you he's coming to it's you okay and that's a thank you as well for all you've done that's a yeah it's like okay. a combo um look i uh i appreciate the gesture i do i i'm not gonna say no to okay. a mansion and i sort of look around <gasps> um you're welcome to stay here okay. anytime you want, obviously. You will have a key. ZP will have a key. Kai will have a key. Yes. Valefer will have a key as well. <laughs> yes. Um, you are all always welcome, and friends of yours and family of yours is always welcome here. Mm -hmm. And it might be my home on paper from now on and legally, but it will be your home as well if you want it to. Okay. And when, whenever you need. Thank you for that. Uh, I don't want to be homeless with my sister, so can she stay <laughs> with us from now? Obviously. For now. Obviously. At least. Yes, of course. Of course she can. Holy shit. And I and I, then I turn honestly to uh, I turn to Kirin again and say, uh, what am I supposed to do with my sister now? I'm the only one. <laughs> Hire babysitter. <laughs> um, well, ooh, ooh. If I were you, I take some time to talk to her <laughs> and find out what her life was or. <laughs> We were able to rescue her, and then maybe you can get Inside. an insight into what she is used, uh, and then you can maybe move on from there. I don't really know what but I'm maybe saying. She, maybe she doesn't want to remember that. That's my problem. I think I want just... <laughs> At least for now, to forget about. Why are we laughing? This is relevant. I'm not there. I've never been a brother. Okay. I'm, Look, I'm just. Ni neither have I. I've always been an only. I'm an only child. Look. Oh, um, fuck. I'm just, right. Anyway, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're not the right person to talk to. And I run towards. No, but look, look, I'm look. Just if fine. You're gonna have to make a decision. You can either continue your adventures 
with us and in that case you're going to have to find someone to take care of your sister yeah. someone trustworthy someone you know you can put her life in Ilya. their hands or you can for a while you know what i want i want to find my family <laughs> They would be the the best suited, but I, I know that's miles away. Yeah, it is. Well, but uh, I'll walk those miles with you. I want you to know that. Okay, good. Well, the mansion is yours, and I start, and I just go back to just, my room. Uh, okay. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> there's a, there's a... Oh yes. I'm gonna draft the document so we can sort this out, and then I'm gonna have you sign some things. But you, I'll find you later. You go, okay? You, good luck with, okay. with, with everything. And I just slump in the chair. I'm sitting in like, oh god. <laughs> oh, real estate. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Very well. All right. So, if no one wants to do anything else during the downtime, we'll finally move time forwards. I would I would like to uh, draft like a formal document of something along the lines of I Denzer whatever whatever do give my part to Kira na, 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 have him sign it and find somewhere I can deliver this. Okay, like, yes, yeah, easily easy, easy enough. Uh, okay. During the second week, things start getting back to normal, um, and you get that done with within the city council building basically, um, and they sort that out. Okay, for you. good. So now you own five fifths of a mansion. <laughs> I have to sign eventually. <laughs> oh shit! Because <laughs> tax tax on one fifth of a mansion is something, but tax on a whole mansion that might be fucked up. And that's and why I gave you the that's mansion. That's why I left yeah. my part. Nah, come on, it's not Problem expensive. For tomorrow. It's for real estate. I'll, come on. I'll leave it for now. Bamboozled. Okay, very well. <laughs> bom, 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 Curb. Bom, Curbed. Curbed. <laughs> Curbed. <laughs> you know, like a Stop it, guys. Sorry. Um, all right. So the two weeks pass by. During the second, the second half of the second week, uh, there's some movement in the streets, mainly in the first ring. There's something being built, and eventually you receive a formal invitation to the Heart of the Sea Festival which is, and is explained in invitations you receive, which is the f new festivities of the city that have been installed to, um, so, so that everyone could celebrate the brave uh, souls that fought in the retaking of the city. Uh, so every year from now on, there will be efforts to hold the Heart of the Sea Festival um, in Valiant to remember those who were lost in the battle and to celebrate the, the freedom that you've gained. Uh, obviously you're invited, and it will be, uh, in the next couple of days, we will be building everything, so the, it's gonna be a, a street thing, and uh, have some live music, animation, and then there will be an award ceremony. And now you realize that you've heard about this uh, down in the Ten of the Five Whispers, when the Wanda, the secret Elena's secretary, went to visit you, she was like asking who to credit, blah blah blah, because of the award ceremony. Um, so yeah, it is the day of the Heart of the Sea Fest. Woohoo! <laughs> Connection. <laughs> said, yes. Uh, so the festival is at night, starts at eight p.m. Uh, your training finishes at six. <laughs> Okay. And at this uh, at this point, while you're packing your stuff and kind of uh, tired, you feel confident that you almost perfected the technique. Mm -hmm. Alon, uh, as you're leaving, kind of goes, "Serious?" Yes, master. We have worked uh, intensely these past two weeks. It has been fruitful, I I think. I also think so. Yes. You are almost perfecting the, the technique. I believe that you do not need my training anymore. Oh. I think you'd be able to perfect it on your own. Just keep practicing like we like we practiced the two of us. Thank you. Thank you for your time. And, uh... And... Yes. Sadly, I will be leaving after the festival. 
Oh. I have to go back to my homeland. I have to go back to my people. I have to go back to the college. Um, Where do you live? Oh, I live far away. I live in a in an island to the south. Oh, not many people know about this, but Enver is not the only the only place in uh, in this planet. Okay. If you find the right people, some of them might be able to sail you south to the Isle of Nestril. Nestril. And there, in the west coast, you shall find me, me and my college and my palace. If you ever need, if you ever are in need of more guidance, I shall be there. You're leaving after the festival. Yes, as soon as it is finished, me and my companions will uh, disappear. Ah, uh, okay. Um... About your request, I did yes. not forget. I have been messing with my contacts and part of the reason I want to leave immediately is because I believe I might have some information uh, waiting for me, my hometown. I will try to get in contact with you. Oh. I will find a way to find you. Do not worry. Um, where do you plan on going next? Maybe it is easier to contact you if I know. Uh, we have no idea. I, I would have to talk to my party, so until you leave, I think we have to make a decision or at least have an idea of where we've going, yes. we're going. And if if we don't have Let's one... Do like this. Yes. Quarter past midnight today, after the festival is over. Come to the docks. I will be there waiting for your answer. Okay. Thank you. Once again. And I promise you, I will keep looking. Thank you for your kindness. Don't, don't lose faith, little one. And he kind of puts a hand on your shoulder and signals you to... You can leave. <laughs> okay. The first thing that I do is cast invisibility and punch me in the face. Okay. Make me an arcana check. <laughs> arcana check. Oh boy. Oh, natural seventeen. Okay, hold on. Okay. Plus uh, five, so twenty-two. You slap yourself, <laughs> and you look at your hands. Too invisible. I ask him. It works, and I start dashing, trying. <laughs> Trying to find my, my companions. <laughs> okay. Um, so you all reconvene um, rendezvous in the mansion. So over this week, some alterations have been made to the outline of the mansion to accommodate for more people. Uh, so one of the libraries, everything was moved to the central one and the other one was made into a child's bedroom. Uh, where at this moment, the three Gravelfoot children are staying plus your sister. Um, the master bedroom, which is the big bedroom with one bed, has been shaped and constructed, uh, div divided into two rooms with two beds each, um, where you can stay mm -hmm. and divide. And then let me just look at the map real fast. Holy shit. And then the room where your sister was previously, uh, is now the bigger room, the biggest room in the second floor and is to whomever wants to stay alone. Basically, you decide that between yourselves. Probably the owner of the mansion. <laughs> hmm. Obviously. <laughs> okay. So... Uh, and the, the... There's another room that was split into as well and is now the Gravelfoot. Um, uh, Lewin and Myrtle's Gravelfoot. Myrtle Gravelfoot's uh, bedroom. Okay. She's small. Uh, Myrtle. So are, are, we are not together right right now. I just arrived. Uh, yeah, mansion. I assume you run the vu in the mansion, yeah. As you are arriving, they are kind of getting ready for the festival, I assume. Okay. Guys. We also noticed that Rai is sporting a new haircut. Instead of the braid, he has long, like, shoulder length hair. Oh. I assume. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you okay. put it up or not, but no. Okay. No, it's just falling down basically. Which looks a little bit weird right now because the like the sides are still shaven to accommodate for the braid. Hmm. Uh, now growing a little bit, but the longest part is like like shoulder length. Yeah. So eventually it will be something. Now it's very weird to look at. <laughs> um, so yeah, eventually you you rendezvous in the 
first floor of the mansion in the center foyer with the red carpets leading outside and to left and right. And the festival starts in about 20 minutes and you still need to get to the first ring. So okay. it's up to you guys. Guys, what to do? I'm going to cut straight to you. Gil, are, are you still getting ready? I mean, I know you got the master bedroom, but it's, this is ridiculous. We're waiting for 30 <laughs> minutes already. I mean, I gotta look the part of a mansion owner, do I not? Well, all right. You also have to pay the taxes. We'll get to that later. <laughs> right now, it's time for celebration. And I put on my uh, fancy outfit. All right, so Kieran puts on his fancy outfit. Uh, so you are going to the festival, correct? Yeah. yeah. All right, so you go out of the mansion. You're I newly acquired. Before I leave. You put... <laughs> <laughs> so you you get out of the mansion in the newly acquired mansion in the city of Valian, which weirdly enough, I guess you can call your home now. Um, and you make your way down to the first ring. It's like a did the did, I'm sorry, did the gravel foots go go too to the festival or were they? Uh, they're there they're in the not mansion? in, so they're probably already there. Okay. Sorry, just wanted to. Yeah, it's right. Uh, so you make your way down the. The stairways, the big stair, the big marble stairways, and you reach the first ring. You walk towards the port, and the festival is basically built in the intersection uh, of the port with the main part of the city. So you have the upstairs part, which is all the food stalls and entertainment, and then in the port, as soon as you enter, there's a big, massive stage uh, built in the center where you assume the main attraction and the award ceremony will be held. Uh, there's several things to look at. There's some um, uh, musical entertainment, there are some jugglers here and there. The overall atmosphere is quite jovial and um, party-like, so it doesn't seem like two weeks ago there was a fight in the city. If you look attentively to the sides of the city, you can still see some damaged houses, Rai and ZPU specialists. You know, I, I was there just like a few days ago fixing the, the door frame and the windows and whatever, and now it's just everything colored and um, in tones of blue and turquoise, very sea-like motif. Um, and yeah, so you see food stalls, uh, people like playing games in the middle of the street. Uh, and you, yeah, you arrive to the festival. And maybe now is a good time to take a little break to drink some water, eat something, and then we'll come back in like five minutes. What do you think? Okay. Yeah, sure. All right. Good, so let's break for five Come minutes. Come on. Back. Mom, get the cameras. Ah! You...
Toys. Let's go, guys. Hello, hello. Here we are after our very, very, very short break. I want to be. Uh, so yeah. You are at the edge of the Art of the Sea Festival. Okay. What do you wish to do, guys? <clears throat> Try to win a plushie? A plushie somewhere? <laughs> yeah, well, this seems fun. Um, shall we see? Get some... Uh, I'm challenging, food? I'm yeah. challenging Ray yeah. to like a, a games challenge. Any game we go... Oh, Lord. Let's try okay. to each other. Yes! You want, to, you want to choose the games or just go through all of them? And, uh... <laughs> all of them! All of them! <laughs> I want to win a plushie. think about it. I well, so, and, and, I, and I'll face say... And I go. We gotta win a plushie for my sister, guys, okay? I, gotta, I, look, I look at him and I say, Loser by the ale. <laughs> okay, okay, that seems fair. We're rich, oh, okay. guys. This yeah, makes me an investigation check to see if you find any game that uh, has okay. stuffed animals. Or well, guys, hold on, hold on! Already have 15 14. plushies each. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Flutter with plushies, I want that. Okay, uh, let's make that canon. Uh, 25. 25, yeah, you yeah. immediately find one that seems uh, to be a bow and arrow competition. Guys, guys! Start there first, I'll go with you as well. Okay. Um, uh, <laughs> Kieran, come with us, Zippy! What, what did the um, competition, uh, a competition, what did the invitation actually say? Like, is there an event right. to this thing? It's free real estate. Yeah, so it mainly said that the award ceremony was the big event, and all around it was just a normal normal festivities, like a town town <laughs> festival. Even before Black well, Dragons well, appear, guys. Just they said really that there will be food, there will be entertainment, and there will be games. And in the back, and Dragon real estate. Oh, okay. <laughs> so as you make your way to the left okay. side of the festival, um, <coughs> suddenly you start hearing this this faint music playing, and you see a halfling and two half elves, very finely dressed, playing this jo very jolly symphony, uh, entertaining people. And there's like a semicircle uh, around them, like clapping and dancing and whatever. And then on the opposite side, there's the archery um, mini game. Okay. All right. We go like guys. Just stand, I guess. Okay. Hello, hello. You like to play? Yes. You look like very strong man. You probably want to play, but this is not about strength. This is this precision. Are yes, sure. They are precise. Okay. <laughs> they How are much precise. tickets can we buy? Oh, oh. Come down, come down. Uh, two silver to play. Two silver to play. I give the That's silver for both for all the all of us. Okay. So. Everyone's playing! Perfect! 10 silver! He kind of takes the, the 10 Guys, silver. I want that plushie. You see that one? The giraffe? And he, he, point, he points at a plushie of a... It's basically a straw-stuffed cow. God dang, it's a giraffe. I think. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like a giraffe because it's badly done. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's a cow with a long neck. <laughs> okay. Um, Alright, who's going first? Who's going first? Go first! <laughs> Initiative! <laughs> He kind of hands you a short bow and uh, three arrows. And okay. Puts uh, but the arrows don't have a, a an arrowhead. It's like a, a round thing, oh, like a, a, a round the guy. Uh, bag of whatever, of pebbles. I'll try to give him back the the air, the, the the bow and just keep the arrows. <laughs> yeah, I don't need this thing. Yeah, thank you so much. Oh, I'm afraid it's a game of precision, so you need, oh. you need, you need a bow. You need to use it. No, I need, need to, to use, use it. Bastard. Yes, you need to use the bow. Okay, I hold the bow then, <laughs> awkwardly. Okay. <laughs> Is it small or big or something? Uh, it's small, it's small, it's very small, yeah. Alright. Short bow. Uh, so, short bow? <laughs> yeah, I will try to aim as best as I can and just... Uh, with a lot of, like... Are you proficient strength. with... Uh, Simple weapons, I assume you are. <laughs> I'm a simple guy. <laughs> yes. Should be, you should be. Okay. I am. Alright, so... You try and aim, so you will add your dexterity plus your proficiency bonus to the roll. Uh, and he explains. So, the, uh, before you shoot, the aim of the game, and he kind of points towards the back. You see those targets moving, and there's this, like, um, rotating yeah. fixture just... Yeah, yeah, yeah I can see it. And you see this, uh, like, chibi figurines of the cloaked people that were protecting the city, the undead guys. Mm. 
uh, like very poorly drawn, like cross eyes and ah, <laughs> ugly faces, very car- cartoonish. Um, <laughs> so if you basically if you eat three of them, you get a prize. Three of them, okay, I rage. <laughs> they might rotating <laughs> into different places. Okay. Uh, okay. I'll aim for the first and I'll try to shoot the first arrow. First All right, roll me. Uh, so some of them are bigger, some of them are smaller. It's like uh, two, choose... two bi- uh, It's one big, uh, two two medium, and then two smaller. Okay, I'll go for the big one then. Okay, go for it. Um, I before before we start doing this, I go to high and I tell him, uh, p- play my turn, will you? Okay. Yes, I'll play all the turns. Everyone, <laughs> no take backsies. And those I... those turns don't count. I... <laughs> Yours and mine. It's okay. Good, and good. I... And I and I I I will walk away from the game site. Okay. Oh. Okay. That got dark. Okay. Let's change the dark music. Drama. Uh, roll, roll to hit. I rolled already at eleven. Plus the proficiency of five and my dexterity of two, so in total, it's, it's easy eight. enough. You just boom, and that it's very awkward the way it flies the arrow. Uh, so <laughs> yeah, so it kind of goes, and you kind of adjust to it a little bit for the next arrows. Now you keep it in mind, uh, but it hits the target, boom, the big one, no problem. Okay. okay. Very All right. good, very good. First one. Now one medium and one small, and you get a prize. All right. I'll go for the small one. Oh uh, no! Can I can I use like uh, I don't know some stupid shit like savage attacks or something to see if I can break the thing or something like that? <laughs> it's, not, it's not a an axe, but a... Uh, it, I mean it's very hard to break something with uh, with that thing. I mean yeah, it's okay. soft to the tip, but uh... I'll break the bow <laughs> doing so or something. Okay, sure. Yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah, it was a nice roll. I'm glad I chose the small. It's uh, 18 natural, so plus 7. Yeah, 25. so... Immediately... <laughs> Do you want to break the bow on purpose? No, I'll break the bow in the third strike. Okay. <laughs> Flies. <laughs> it's the small one. Ah, very good, very good. Now the medium. <sighs> See you later. The is almost See. there. Come on, come on. My supreme victory of rolling a six! <laughs> <laughs> Bring it, bitch! Uh, so it's six plus seven, so it's the 13. Uh, and the just, medium. And, you just, uh, boom, and just hits the big one. Goes, oh no! So close! So close! Almost got the prize! Anyway, it was a very good try. Very good try! Two out of three, not bad! You get the consolation prize! And he hands you one, sil- one silver back. Well, <laughs> Starting to look like victory now. <laughs> <laughs> and I walk to the back of the line to play for Zippy's turn. Okay, who's going next? What shall you do this? Okay. Very do, well. do, do I see Zippy going away, moving away, or? Uh, yeah, yeah, he would. Uh, okay, I start looking to the side. I'm like, what is happening? And I say, guys, get me the plushie, and I start walking towards her. Okay. We'll get I, 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 don't, I don't even care about it. I don't hear it. I just rage. <laughs> um, as as Valefra is getting ready to shoot, I'm want to stealthily cast Mage Hand, so I can like poke him in the ribs or poke him in the butt or something <laughs> to throw him off. Okay, make me a sleight of hand check. Uh, uh, okay. Uh, uh, Twelve. Yeah, What's your passive perception, Valefra? I... Nine, okay, yeah, so you're just focused. Ah! <laughs> um, very well. The guy, the, also, the stand owner, also doesn't seem to notice. Uh, roll. Are, are you doing something, Kiran? Or are you going to wait for a specific... Uh... No, as, as soon as I can tell that he's about to shoot, I'm going to poke him. Okay, roll with this disadvantage forever. Okay. As you're focusing on throwing, as you're just about to release... You yeah. feel something poke your ribs. Ah! Okay, I'll go. I'll go for the big one. <laughs> yeah. First. Okay. So it's my proficiency bonus. What's your dexterity modifier? Okay, so uh, it's a fifteen. Fifteen, yeah. Boom! It's the big one. No problem. And I feel the poke, right? Yeah. I, I look at Kieran. I pull my sword out. Gonna kill you. 
Oh, I'm just here to support your efforts. Why would you do Stop this? Stop touching me first? and help Roy. This is a competition. At the same time, you look behind competition. you, and you see a spectral hand kind of floating in midair. <laughs> I cut the hand off. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't do anything. Just slices through the hand. Yeah. There's no. <laughs> um, okay, the I, I look yeah, at the second hand. Like, mm -hmm. oh no! How did it? How does that? Did that get in here? What is this crazy <laughs> man? Right. Punch that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm really like in the end of the line. I don't know how big that is. Not sure if I would pay attention. Right, it's ruining the competition. <laughs> Right, roll. Are you going for the small one or medium one? I'll go for the small one. <laughs> All right. Uh, Kieran, are you doing something or? I'm gonna grope his ass <laughs> with the spectral hands. Uh, just make me a wisdom saving throw, Valeper, just to see if it throws you off. <laughs> Gives you motivation. It's a fifteen total. Total. Okay. Uh, what's your spell no, save? No, wait. Uh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's a fifteen total. I his spell save is 18. 18. So you just feel the hands uh, grope you and it kind of throws you a little bit off balance. Uh, roll to hit and subtract two of the instead of two? just attack. Okay. After this, I'm going to punch uh, Kirin in the face. <laughs> Whoa! I'll just say one. So I just roll and do I add and so I'll just. Add, add, add the same no, thing? I'll remove my dexterity. I'll remove my dexterity. Okay, dexterity. perfect. Yeah. You so, said the small one, correct? Yeah, so. Okay. It's a 22. 22, yes. <laughs> In the little uh, hooded figurine. Ah, very well, very well. Two out of three, same as your colleague here. Let's see if you can make one. Torture, give me five seconds. And you turn around and punch Kirin? Yeah, I'll punch him. Make me an attack roll. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it's a 13. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Kirin, you see him get, uh, angrily jab at you and he's just sidestep. <laughs> so much here! Valefer, why are you like this? This is a time for celebration, don't yeah, be violent. stop being a drama bitch. I'm doing a competition in Strop. Stop, I would okay? never. For once, I'm having fun with you guys. <laughs> I'm having fun. I'm having fun <laughs> as well, don't worry about that. <laughs> Stop this is it. how I fun! Yeah, stop messing <laughs> with my challenge! <laughs> and I'll go shoot the medium target. Okay, go for it. I'm not gonna do uh, anything this time. Okay, so <laughs> just straight roll. Woo! De shit! De uh, so my proficiency 14, 12, 16 total. Woo! 16 I total! <laughs> um, you, you shoot and you see, see the trajectory. Oh no, it's gonna miss! And then he just nicks the tiny little <laughs> hand of the cartoon. Oh, very well, very well, we have a winner! Bye, bye, the thin hair! Almost you didn't make it. All right, and he kind of points up. I want a big cow! He's gonna shoot your... Oh. All right, you want the cow! And he kind of takes the cow. It's maybe like this big. The leg, the neck is a bit too big, but the rest is kind of... Cheer you know. He made it in the correct... He uh, made it all, all in brown. It made it to Canada, uh, guys. Yes. Oh, with I the... Destroying. I passed kind of, right. Oh. I passed right. One nil, bitch. <laughs> While holding a stuffed cow. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he does, sir. He never won this. Uh, then there is, uh, I'm gonna look at my silver coin. Don't see that, yeah. Okay, uh, uh, I look at Kieran. Kieran's turn Can you first, please hold yeah. this? After you shoot? Uh, no, you won it fair and square. It's yours. You keep God it. Damn it, you bastard. <laughs> Cheating bastard. I didn't cheat. I didn't do anything. I didn't. I'll be right. You. Okay. <laughs> I'll give it to Phila myself. You what? I'll give it to, to Denzer's sister. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. It is correct. Uh, Kirin, it's your turn. Oh, okay. yeah, baby, let's I'm go. I'm gonna okay. go for the big one first to get you. Once, okay. once he shoots, once he shoots, I'm using a little bit of my ass breath <laughs> just to hit him in the neck <laughs> so I get the chill. Okay, uh, make your constitution saving throw, kid. Oh fuck, I got them, my constitution. What? 
<laughs> Wait, it fell to the floor. Never mind. Are you nervous? Natural one. Yeah, oh, I am nervous. Oh, no, I want the second oh. potion. <laughs> so minus two. Uh, <laughs> minus two to the roll. Uh, yeah. Okay. Sorry. Which one are you going to hit? Big one, medium one, small The big one. one. Big one, go for it. Just a question. Does this count as, like, my breath weapon attack, right? Because I... Oh, it counts as a little bit only. You could do it maybe, like, two more times, let's say. Very precisely. <laughs> <laughs> so, it was a 16. 16, yeah, hits. You, you kind of feel this cold breath just take your neck and... <laughs> you shiver a little bit as you're shooting. <laughs> it kind of goes... Uh, wobbling the arrow, boom, 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 but hits the big target. No problem. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pretend like I didn't feel anything. Okay. <laughs> so then I'm gonna go for the medium one. Right, let's go. Uh, wait, make me a constitution. Are you doing it again, Valefer? Yeah. Make me a constitution saving throw with advantage because you're kind of expecting it already. No. I, right. Okay. Yeah. I'll, I'll let this one. I want, I want it to burn his robes, but okay. <laughs> I'll use my breath weapon. I'll just the fancy clothing? Just, just my small... No, but I'll do my breath weapon. Okay. I won't sting uh, you. There was a roll, Kinnan. Uh, so, wait, do I do a constitution saving throw or constitution not? Constitution saving yeah, throw yeah. with advantage, yeah. With advantage. I'm... I'm, I'm uh, throwing eight. at the scratch area. Eight. <laughs> so you feel the same chills again, so minus two to your roll again. But on his balls, on his elf balls. <laughs> okay, so... <laughs> 23! <laughs> yeah, the middle one. <clears throat> right in the bank center. Very well, very well! One more, but it's the hard one. Can you make it? Oh, we'll see. And I won't do anything now. You won't do anything? Okay, so no. just straight roll for the ball. Ha ha ha! 26! 26, yes. <laughs> right in that center as well. Just focus. Boom. Boom. That's a... Oh, one more, twice in a row. Oh, you're gonna get me bankrupt. All right. Uh, the sweater. Is there... Choose your, choose your prize. Any points towards? Is there uh, any kind of bud like the first bud I see? Materialize in the universe. A plush uh, of the old one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> when I a dragon. <laughs> so you see, you see the, a couple of stuffed animals that are there. You see a. Um, you see a stuffed cat and a, a little pig, and then you see hanging from um, some nails a corpse. Three, <laughs> a, a row of pendants that you recognize as being holy symbols um, <laughs> of the dragon king, the war maiden, and the wise keeper, and like a, a full row of each one of them. Yeah. And you, you also see like some wooden cups, a tea set, there's I'm, I'm, I'm gonna get a tea set. Yeah? All yeah. Right. So it's a, he hands you, he kind of packs it in a box and he hands you a very minute uh, tea set. Maybe like child size, but like yeah. two, two little Maybe. cups, two little plates, Maybe. and a little. Uh, uh, and he hands you. Well, there you go! Uh, it's not very fancy, but. I put two gold on the. <laughs> like in front of, oh, of me and I say, thank you, I had a great time. And I oh, you're very generous, very generous, very the generous! The guy faints. You can still play twice more if you want, uh, but... No, keep the change, don't worry about ah, it. Well, uh, at this point, there's that is, you kind of catch up to Zippy, if you want to ask what's going on. Zippy, why are you leaving or what? Oh, why? I just don't, don't feel like playing a lot. You guys have fun, go, go back to them. It's okay. Inside check, it's obviously not okay, but... Uh... And all inside, <laughs> says it's okay. Sure, yeah, roll me inside, why not? Um, I'm, I'm not being this... okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, just let's see if... Uh... Well, in that case, she's not being dishonest. Yeah, whatever. She's already you, it's, it's fine. Uh... Yeah, just... I have the notion that she just doesn't feel like playing. Yeah. Why being alone? You'll, you'll just... Uh... Well, I, I didn't mean to go that far, I just wanted to find a bench and then I kept on okay. walking and there was no bench. I don't know. I didn't want to turn around because then you look silly and you have to turn around because you go back and you go front. This is kind of awkward. I don't know. Um, <laughs> well, I, I tap on her shoulder, inspirational tap, and I go back to the group. <laughs> Very well. Uh, so as you're kind of 
as you're finishing your third shot, Kiran, uh, then as you approach and you kind of take your T-set and you turn around, give him the two gold, uh, turn around again and see the Zerius catching up. Um, so? Um, I just, you see Valefer holding a stuffed cow. Oh my goodness, it's a giraffe! Yes! It's, it's a cow, us. and I, I, throw, I throw him at him. <laughs> Do I faint? <laughs> no, it's a, it's a fight. Ah, but you kind of hold it, it's fine. Okay, guys, well, uh, what should we do next? Let's try to include ZP. Nothing that. Well, I don't know. On to the next oh, game! Okay. <laughs> okay, like, while they do their thing, why don't we go and get something to eat or something? That Just the three of us then. Yeah. And or are you <laughs> doing that thing? Or are you scared, right? No, I got the first prize and I'll keep winning them all. And I hold the silver coin that he gave That's to me. That's the consolation for <laughs> <laughs> it's all in, in, the, the in the mind of the, of the in winner. In the mind of a loser. The beholder. <laughs> in the mind of a loser, you got the consolation prize. What's the next game we see around us, still? Okay, the, the, immediately the next one you see around you is a uh, the cup game. You have to memorize where the ball is. Oh, that's <laughs> a I'm really good at this one. Let's do it. Let's, Let's do it. Let's go okay, find CP. So who's going? Who's going to that game and who's going to grab some something to eat? Grabbing food with my Bloshi. and uh, we're trying to grab ZP for her to go with us. I I can I can see if there's some version of cotton candy around here. <laughs> okay. No fun for you today. No, no, no. Beer and uh, bread. So food-wise, in this side of the uh, of the festival, you see um, three things. One seems to be a sweet house with uh, freshly baked cakes, some roasted sugary almonds, um, and some more like sweet delicacies, and then you see a a stand just focused on sque skewered meats and fish uh, that's like grilled in the moment, and you just take the skewer and eat it from the skewer. And another one, um, which just seems to be selling um, seafood fried uh, little balls. So, what are you in the mood for? Seafood. I'm gonna get some seafood. Aye, aye. Okay. So I you... was gonna go for the candy, but... You can go if you want, yeah. yeah. Uh... So you go to the candy, they go to the seafood balls. Um, and you're greeted by someone very busy. There's like a, a little queue and like five minutes later you get to the front of the store, of the stall. It's just, uh, how can I help? Yes, uh, what do you want? Kind of uh, your, so... in the size face and kind of goes, hey, we have uh, crab, we have octopus, we have fresh fish. Um, well, anything, crab. anything fried except the octopus. I want the octopus. I want one of everything. <laughs> the irony. I really <laughs> want the octopus before he said that. Also, one of everything or just uh, the octopus? Yeah, well, yeah, fuck it. One of everything. Let's go for one it. One of everything. Octopus Very well. So six box coming out. One without octopus. Which one would you write, uh, like to repeat? Uh, half heaven gentlemen. Uh, what? What do you want to repeat? I'll get you a six. I'll get you a six box. It's the same price. So which one oh. do you like to repeat if you don't want octopus? Some crab. Some crab. crab. All right, two. One with two crabs. One with everything. And uh, you kind of wait as the guys back uh, <laughs> at the back of the stall are kind of just frying this this little balls of stuff. Uh, and they hand you a little uh, wooden box with six different balls. Uh, they are not labeled, so you have to take your guess. <laughs> oh, as we're going back, I want to try to slip the uh, octopus and remove and I, a red I want to I want to leave a uh, two gold tip as well. Oh, okay. Okay. That's a... Well, very, very good, very good. Uh, the price is just five silver for box, but... Uh, He's paying for mine. Start, she starts making the change and try, no, tries no, to... No, 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 keep it, keep it. Well, thank you, for thank the you very much, sir. Very, very, very kind of you. Have a, have a good festival. I hope it's uh, in your liking. Uh, you as well, thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, she kind of immediately darts to the other side of the queue and gets the next specimen and so on. Um, so yeah, the, the food is actually very good. Um, mm -hmm. you, it's some kind of, most of them are some kind of fish. There's like one clam, one octopus, one crab, uh, and then three kinds of um, different kinds of fish. One seems to be monkfish. Uh, the other ones can't really tell. Clam, white fish. Tuna. Uh, um, 
<laughs> when when Denzerius starts to eat the, the the octopus, I get kind of a uh, want some? Party, like you want some? Yeah. Open wide, and I want to give him a bit of octopus. <laughs> I slap it out of his hand. Don't do that. Okay. <laughs> no. Octopus. Yeah, exactly. Why would you do that? It has the most flavor. It's fresh out of the sea, man. Come on. Well, it's now it's even more flavorful with some dirt. Yeah. Ah, not going to waste. Can I eat the thing? Three, three seconds rule. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, uh, where's Zippy? Oh. Very well. Uh, you look at Zippy and she's in a massive queue for the uh, for the sweet stand. Uh, they I'm, I'm... get your food, they reach you with their little fried balls, and they stand with you in the queue, I assume. Yeah, yeah. Ten minutes later, you reach the front of the queue. Um, and this young gentleman, maybe like 15 years old or something, Jess, is just, Hi, uh, can I help you? Mm-hmm, what do you have? What you like? Ah, uh, we have cakes, we have pastry, uh, we have just, um, egg sweets, you have roasted almonds, cashews, uh... Can you get the almonds, please? Yeah, all I'll... right, uh, just one? It kind of looks at you, kid, and I'll, I'll have here. some cake, if you please. Some cake, all right, uh, which one do you like? Uh, Lemony, just lemon, exactly. I love lemon. A moment right, on you, the lips, you. an eternity on the <laughs> hips, Karen. What about you, uh, gentlemen? Oh, no, thank you. you. I'm okay, right, thank you're you. Well, uh, I see you're entertained with the fried balls very, very much. Yeah, thank <laughs> Everyone you. has their taste, I'm not gonna judge. <laughs> um, and he kind of packages one of the cakes and he starts like. Roasting the almonds real quick, sp sprinkle some uh, brown sugar in it, and then puts it in a cup. Uh, there we go, lady! Uh, Thank you! He kind of hands you this, this fairly sizable portion of lemon cake. Nice. Uh, Thank you very much. You're welcome. Hi. There will be uh, four silver for everything. I, uh, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna I leave him, I'm gonna silver. leave him three gold. Wow, dude. Uh, he kind of takes only one gold and starts getting the change immediately. No, 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 no. Keep it. Thank you. Thank you for the food and thank you for your hard work. Oh, thank, thank you very much, sir. This will definitely help. Thank you. Thank you. Have a, have a good festival. If you want something else... Have a nice one. Oh, you as well. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Uh, meanwhile, Valetta and Rai. <laughs> so we reached the cup game... I don't know. Stand yeah, or something? Yeah. Yeah, so you wait for like five minutes, there's a queue for this one, because it's very popular. Um, and suddenly, you, eventually you reach the front, and it kind of looks at you two. Oh, couple of big fellas, huh? So which cups do we have to destroy? <laughs> no, no, sh stay away from my cups, no destroying. Very simple. Kind of lifts one. See this ball? Just trap yeah. the cup that the ball is under, and if you guess right by the end of me um, and it finishing moving them, you win double the amount. How much is the entry? Whatever you like to bet. Maximum of two gold. Most gold wins? Or yeah. most pits wins? Sorry? Well, it's two out of three or something. Okay. You go first. Okay, two gold. <laughs> two gold, hey! Oh, you win it! Oh, kind of. so much money. <laughs> <laughs> kind of takes the two gold from you. Very well. And he kind of shows you the middle cup. Uh, puts it back under the middle cup and starts <laughs> shifting him around, along. Make me a perception check. To see if you can keep. Uh... <laughs> oh, fuck <in> this game. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 18 plus zero, I think. Damn. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So you're pretty sure it's in the left one. I think I'll choose this one guy. He kinda... Are you sure? Yeah, you can yeah, change! Yeah, sure. No, 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 I'm really sure about this. <clears throat> very well, very well, it kinda lifts... Oh, too bad! And he kinda lifts the middle one. It was in the middle! And... You can play again if you want! And he starts mixing him around. Don't give him more gold. <laughs> Maybe it's you now! <laughs> My scaly friend! One silver. <laughs> One silver, very well! Oh, takes the one silver. Here we go, here we go, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Make the perception check. <laughs> Natural one. <laughs> uh, you don't even know. <laughs> yeah, I got a zero. You don't even know, so I'll, I'll let you guess. 
Alrighty. Right one. Right one. Because uh, it kind of looks at you. Are you <laughs> sure you want a right one? As sure as I'm silver. It kind of lifts it. Oh, victory! Very well, two silver for you! Because, <laughs> okay, no. I fucking thought of... I, if he says right one, he, he guesses. And you, right. <laughs> Welcome to Valefford, ladies and gentlemen. How would you like to double your bets? Double or oh. nothing, double or nothing. You want to take the 2-0 or do you want to tie? <laughs> Let's just dig into two, I guess. All right, how much you betting? How much you betting? I'll give, I'll give, no, 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 no. I'll stop him and I'll give him the two silver I win. I grab the two gold and I'll give it two silver. Okay, so you got to take it out two silver. Oh, too bad, but if your friend wants to bet two gold, you might make four gold. We're not in for the money. We're in for the it's. Well, I'm in for the money, and he kind of takes the two silver. And uh, very well. Gentlemen, pay attention. Perception check. The I got it right. I got it right. No idea where it is. So, I think, no, yes. think it's the left one. Pretty left sure one. No, it's the left one. It kind of. It are you sure? You can change. You can still change. Last. No, 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 no. I think it's yeah? really the left one. Yeah, pretty sure. Oh, so it's it. Oh, too bad. Same thing. And he shows the center one. It's in the center. Loser. <laughs> <sighs> well, accept defeat. Okay, we we'll try. Double your investment. Maybe that those two gold can get you all the money you spent back. Wait a minute. Is this a defeat? It's like a two nil, and I lost. That's it, right? Yep. Well, fuck this game then. Let's go to the next. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to the gold one. Do we see? Do we see any game that pairs up against each other? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, a bit off the side, you yeah. kind of um, you ask some people around, and they direct you to the competitive game that's happening off the side of the festival, which is tug of war. Tug of war. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> well, okay. uh, look at that one. That one. Who wins that one? Wins the deal like the whole night. That's it. No, if you win, we tie, and we buy each other drinks. Okay, that's fair. Let's do it then. <laughs> I'm two nil yeah. on you. <laughs> <laughs> you Very know well. I am with games. As you as you're going to meet them with your food guys, you see them just rush over to the edge of the festival. <laughs> but uh, what do I, I want do I, do I see Jovia like, like, in the festival? Uh, you can make me a quick perception check to look around in this. I, I want I want to run like the kids. So instead of running faster, I want to try to make sure that he's not running faster than I am. <laughs> 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 We're just like kids, okay. So my perception was sixteen. <laughs> 16. Uh, you don't see her anywhere. No. Ah, fuck it, I'll play some games. <laughs> okay, very well. I'm so uh, do, we, do we see someone we know at the festival? Well, first of all, you see these two idiots just shoving each other. <laughs> <laughs> um, apart from that, uh, not yet. You've been here for maybe like 15 minutes, 20 minutes, and you okay. still haven't seen Then I, I, I turn to the guys and I go, well, we should go and watch them play, at least. Do you guys want to play? Oh yeah, let's let's go see who can twist the farthest. Metaphorically, okay. that is. <laughs> I'm gonna try and find <laughs> a nice bench. Play. Be silly. We're what did you just... say? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you reach this uh, tug of war. So the rules are: you have to sign up for it, mm -hmm. um, and then teams get allocated randomly, and it's three versus three. Can't we go one versus one? You can ask if you want. Okay. I'm gonna go on teams on you versus me. There's this uh, peachy moustache teenage guy, probably in his 14, 13s. I'll ask uh, the shit out of him. No, he's like ta just taking the <laughs> money. So, you guys wanna participate? Yeah. Alright, so that's five silver each. Yeah, but we're play we're playing as a team of three. Each one. Two. Yeah, he's three and three. Alright, uh. Um... Sure, and see why not. There will be 20 silver each. All no, right, let's do it. No, no, you idiot. <laughs> it's just 1v1. Why are we paying more? I thought you said it doesn't care, like you don't care about the money. So. Ah, fuck it. Take the silver. <laughs> I pay all, all right, very well. 
Uh, so two, 20 silver or two gold, uh, whatever you prefer, uh, to deduct from your sheets. Uh, and he kind of takes the money. All right. Sorry, gentlemen. These two paid for the privilege of going against each other for the, as a full team. So please wait in line. They'll be ready <laughs> soon, I guess. And he kind of to your positions. It kind of shows you I some look, lines yeah. in the floor. As we're walking, I look at Ray. I'll kill you. You do realize we're playing tug of war. I know. <laughs> <laughs> we get in the position. So you get in the position. Um, and it kind of goes three, two, one, boom! Uh, athletics check, both of you. <laughs> <laughs> I rage. Yeah, okay. I rage also. We're raging. <laughs> we have advantage, right? Even when we're raging on athletics. The rage is synchronized. Yes. Papa bless advantage. advantage. Yeah, the first roll is a 3. First one they is a 5. Roll it. And the second one is a 19, so a 28 athletics. I rolled a 16, so it's 26. 26. So, the first one. Uh, Valefra kind of pulls ahead a little bit and reels you in a little bit closer. But you kind of stand your ground, but you just kind of start sliding a little bit. Um, make me another athletics check. Oh, okay. how many? How many are there? Just for me to know something. Uh, depends. Okay. Yeah, if you win three in a row, you win three in a row. Okay. Yeah. Oh shit! My nice. <laughs> okay. Again. Yeah. I rolled just for the fun. <laughs> what? I'm not touching. I'm not touching this shit. Thing. I rolled. I rolled a 17 and a natural 20. <laughs> So, I rolled a, a 15, so 25. Oh, poor guy. Okay, so, <laughs> the effort continues to pull, pull, and you kind of continue sliding. Right, come the on! Line getting I'm closer. Why am there? The line is getting closer, yes! Okay. Last okay, one, right. last one. I'm going to inspire Rai. While doing this one, I'll do it like the intimidating uh, thing. Uh, okay. he, won't, he, won't be needing, he won't be needing to do that. Because I can't actually. You're in. I'll just, no, no. I'll just, I'll just start looking at him, and I love, and I'll say, "Fly, little orc," and then let go of the rope. <laughs> hey. <laughs> Half orc, come on, please. Make me a dexterity saving throw, right? <laughs> I, I, can I see it? Yeah, it's, it's yeah. letting go in front of you. Rope is right in front of you. Right front of you. <laughs> oh, you bastard! <laughs> It's an 18 plus 2, ah. right? Yes, it's a 20. Okay, so, so, so he's pulling, pulling and he's got fly a little way. So, uh, and he kind of lets go and you just go... Woof, uh, and you kind of stumble backwards and just fall on your ass, basically. Nothing, nothing may just... Poof, oh. I fall on my ass. Yes. I got okay. him. Okay. Hey, let's go! Disqualify! Winner is the gentleman on the left! And he points towards right. I pick up the rope and I lift the rope as a prize. <laughs> yeah, like the belt. WWE belt, world yeah, champion in 2016. You can take the rope home. It's and as you're doing it, everyone in the crowd around you is not cheering. They just like... <laughs> <laughs> and I, 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 I start bowing. Thank you. Thank you very much. Good clap. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, at this point, you hear uh, a, an amplified voice from the lower part of the festival. Everyone is please advised to go to the lower part of the festival. The award ceremony will be starting in five, five minutes. Woohoo! Oh, right, we music, still guys. have time for real. Wanna get a drink? Well, yeah, we pay half, I guess. And, you pay uh, half? You lost. You, I won. The guy uh, said I won. <laughs> it's a tie. <laughs> ah, forget it, let's go. <laughs> Very well. Uh, so yeah. you yeah. pass by the liquor stand first and grab a uh, to-go ale and drink along the way. Perfectly fine. Um, and you make your way towards the portuary area of Valian, where the big stage is, is mounted. Uh, people are amassing at this point. Uh, there's maybe like 300 people already going around. Uh, and some more people like... Uh, going down the stairs towards this area. So uh, a lot of people, it was a, a big turn up to this event, you feel like. Uh, and you wait for like two more minutes, three more minutes, and, and some lights kind of <laughs> go off in each corner of the stage, um, some kind of magical light source. 
and behind it, the moon is like the crescent moon is is um, shining at this point. Um, it, it's getting colder now, so the southern coast is quite warm, even in in the epoch of, of firmness. Um, but still, it's, it's it's chilly. It's maybe like 12 Celsius, something like that. Uh, so it's not it's not bad, but it's it's nothing too comfortable to go out in a, a tank top or something. But but the night is okay. There's no rain. There's very few little clouds in the sky. So it's, it's, it was lucky with the weather. It's not raining at least. Um, and after two or three minutes, a familiar figure to some of you, especially. Uh, namely, Kiran and Denzerish uh, walks on stage. You recognize it as being um, Helena Scali Valnui, the member of the city council, uh, Ilir's aunt. Um, and she she goes to the stage, and there's this uh, there's this little box with someone to his to his side that seems to be constantly holding it, and she just holds the box to her, like, head level, kind of, and starts speaking, and her voice comes out amplified. You recognize this as being a simple thaumaturgy spell, um, being constantly cast on the, the microphone. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Citizens of Valiant. <laughs> it's a pleasure <laughs> having you here. Right. Before we start with the awards ceremony, I have a few words I'd like to speak to you. Some of you are still grieving, I know. Some of you are just here to have a good time to forget what happens. Still, hear me out. Yesterday, we grieved, but today we celebrate. We celebrate not because we have won. We celebrate so you can show the spirits of those who perished that their death meant the rebirth of a city they loved. Meant that those they, they cared for are happy and free. Let the nations rise from calamity. This time, to come forth strong with bonds of steel, forged in blood. For Valiant, for the treaty, for us, for them. And everyone kind of, with the for them, all the rumbling and mumbling that was going on kind of dies down. A bit. Everyone kind of looks down. Some people, you see some people near you kind of solemnly bow. Some of them are starting to water. Their eyes are starting to water. <sighs> But before we kickstart the celebration, we must thank those who have a crucial role. It has come to my attention that without the intervention of one gentleman, of one family, the Gravelfoot family, <laughs> none of this would have been possible. I hereby grant them Gravelfoot. Lewin Gravelfoot, the head of the family, a seat at the parliament so that they can help us in peace as they helped us in war. Second of all, I must thank the brave soldiers, the Maritime Council, without whom no chance of winning could be had. Are. I would like now to call on stage the Supreme Commander of the Maritime Council. Commander Ili Ulmat. And people start rapping. And they kind of... You see, I, I stay in my place. <laughs> I see them all clap, and I'm like, yeah. <laughs> uh, you see, Ilir, uh, welcome stage. Is uh, his hair freshly cut, beard trimmed for the event, um, in his most fancy clo clo clothes, uh, bleh, clothes that you have never seen him in. Uh, this deep blue, uh, navy blue 
that's the same tone as his armor, but like it's in velvety texture, and his um, cloak clasped with two crossed oars, which is the Maritime Council symbol, in each shoulder, uh, clasping this big, um, turnable red and purple cloak. You see the inside is red, and he's wearing the purple on the outside. Thank you. Thank you. And he kind of hugs uh, Elena. Thank you. And she kind of steps to the side of the stage and she steps to the box. The box is kind of adjusted to, to its height. Um, thank you. Thank you, citizens of Valor. Those who know me know that I am short of speech. I'm usually not a man of needless words. But today I feel like I should indulge you in a bit longer conversation. It has been a pleasure to serve the sea and the city, but I fear I almost doomed us all. I was quick to anger <clears throat> and quick to defy the corrupt council. And that cost us, cost me a one-way trip to a high security facility and cost my men the morale they needed to act and to step to tyranny. All my men but two, I dare say. Admiral Bonebreaker, who fled the city to save countless innocents, and Admiral Ardor, who dove deep into the belly of the beast, and without whom this victory would have never been possible. And it is for this reason, and with sad words, that I will announce here firsthand that I am stepping down from my current position as Supreme Commander. Yes. And I will say now that I will support no one else than one of my admirals if they wish to run for the position. <gasps> if any of them wishes to apply, I will support them. If both of them Apply. I will support them both. Objection. <clears throat> These two champions of justice will serve you good. Probably even better than I've ever did. did. Hey. But enough about us. Today is not about the Maritime Council. Today is about the city. It's about Valiant. It's about the United Nations. And it's about the heart of the sea. Our prized jewel, our spirits. And for that, it is also important to recognize brilliance in battle and brilliance in strategy. And so, as my last act as Supreme Commander, I'm awarding Rai Benzerius. Kieran, Valefer, and Zippy, the honors of the Naughty Life, for service to the United Nations of the Val Coast on behalf of the Maritime Council. So please, if you're in the audience, come up on stage. <laughs> Are we together? I immediately start darting towards the stage. Give, uh, me, the, <laughs> give me the flying carpet! <laughs> I took I'll, just, of the thing. I'll just I'll just put my arms up and say, Mama, we made it <laughs> <laughs> And people start clapping as you as are ascending on stage. And they leave <laughs> leave solemn moment, silence. <laughs> and two uh mer two and I'm like <laughs> two soldiers completely clad in the Maritime Council blue, um, in ceremonial fashion, with stripes of gold and a cloak emblazoning the Maritime Council symbol, the two crossed golden oars on their cape, on their cloak. Uh, their back turns to, turn to you, and they just start... And they keep this melody throughout the entire ceremony, as the leader kind of lines you up on stage, and takes from the inner pockets of... Uh, one of the inner pockets of his cloak, um, a round golden insignia with eight different 
tentacles sprouting in different directions and two uh, round um, azure spheres emblazoned in the center depicting uh, some kind of naut nautical animal. Is it a nautilus, a, an octopus, some kind of um, sea entity that represents the nautili awards? And it kind of pins one of these to each one of your um, chests. It says, Thank you. And it grabs each one of your soldiers in turn. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you and thank you. Give it up for these brave champions. And starts clapping and everyone starts clapping in the audience. Very well. And he kind of beckons you off stage. And Elena comes back. I flex as I leave. <laughs> and now I would like to welcome on stage Lewin Gravelfoot. And now you see uh, Gravelfoot coming from behind the stage. Thank you, sir. Thank you for aiding us in this time of need. I know, of you're great! <laughs> <laughs> and hands him a pillow with a golden dagger uh, rest the top of it. Just... I have this a is a ceremonial dagger that represents your position in the parliament. Please, do us well and use it wisely. We're waiting for your counsel and intelligence to guide us to a brighter future. And he hands, hands him the pillow. It kind of goes... <coughs> they adjust the box to his size now. Citizens of Valin! <coughs> I do uh, not uh, know uh, most of you. His accent got worse. <laughs> I do not know most of you. But I can assure you... I'll be doing the most I can to bring us into a new age. To bring us to an age of peace and prosperity. Put your faith in me as I put my name forth to belong to the official city council. Members of the parliament, hear me out. I will aid you as I see fit. So please, consider it. That is all. And people kind of start <laughs> clapping. So then and I, I'll, clap. go, I'll go, I'll start go, I'll go, I'll go, Huzzah! I knew it! <laughs> <laughs> and then it spreads, and it kind of goes, kind of walks off stage. Um, and... I'll be charging 50 gold for that. <laughs> <laughs> Elena comes comes on stage. Um, and as a treat for all of you, you have a special concert tonight. <gasps> as you will name Black Dragons. The Symphony <laughs> from the Heart of the Sea. <gasps> oh. A composition by local maestro Rufus Twinkleborn. Oh. Bum, bum, a big band like of like 10 12 members with a maestro in the center just oh, starts very slowly and it stretches for like an hour of concert or something like that people start to spread they go back to the i'll go drink and i'll try to look once again if i see buddy jovia okay uh <laughs> To see her anywhere. Doesn't seem to have attended uh, the festivities. Mm, not much for a party. Okay. Yeah. Um, I'll grab a bottle of wine and then. Uh, is your leader around? I make your perception check. Yeah, yeah I, I wanted to find him as well. well can, I find, can, I, can I find okay. gravel food first before I leave with the wine? Yeah, sure, you can. Yeah. Make your perception check if you find him. Uh, oh. Right, you see Ilir to one side, chatting to his aunt. Mm, I'll wait until he finishes. Yeah. Okay, so you wait for like 10 minutes or so, and they kind of hug a little bit, and they part ways, and uh, he seems to walk in your direction, kind of. Oh, Not then I'll wait. Uh, he... since, since, he, since I was looking for Ilir as well, am I there as well? Or am I somewhere yeah, else? Yeah, so you see Rai there, and you kind of wait as well near him. Oh, okay. 
Oh, uh, hi there. <laughs> Sudden news, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I guess they'll be needing uh, two admirals now. Indeed. We'll be sad to see you go, obviously. <laughs> but why now, though? Well, now more than ever, I feel like the city needs something fresh. I represent what was wrong with the city, I guess, because I'm a shard of the past. Something that failed it. I well, be to be honest, I kind of disagree. Uh, <laughs> both of the admirals possess really good qualities, but not like a balance in between everything. I'm afraid that maybe Valiant will be put into a weird position without I don't they'll, know guidance. They'll, they'll help each other. Smarts is not everything. Strategy is not everything. You see, Ori has a big heart. It's much bigger than I'll, I'll ever have. Hmm. And to lead people, that's what you need. Vanessa, she has the charms. She can rally people under her banner, convince people to follow her blindly. And that's something I'm not very good at. Yeah, Together, well. I have taught her, taught them a lot. So, in terms of strategy, they know what to do. So, All right. I said, and I wasn't lying, on stage, if either one of them wants to apply, I will 100% support them. Well, I guess we will yeah, see what happens in the future. But what about you and your goals now? I... Any plans for retirement? Yeah. I wouldn't call it retirement. But yes, I have some unfinished business I need to take care of. And someone wise once told me that maybe it's time to pass knowledge to someone else. So I'm going to introduce someone else to a an old friend of mine. Meanwhile, I'll de deliver a little package to him. And he kind of winks at Kidden. Sounds Who like said that plan. stupid shit? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, knee, knee, uh, knee. I elbow him in the rear. Like, they sound very smart indeed. Yeah, well, maybe in some other days, I guess. <laughs> um, yes, I, I have spoken to Vanessa, and although she's kind of sad of seeing her sister leave, I'll... I'll introduce her to someone that can help her. Hmm. Talking about kids needing help. Sticks. Blast from the past! Sticks is there. He yeah. knows what's good. I've, the last I've heard, he, uh, he has spoken to the best healers in Kalkinas. Elven medicine is much better than ours, especially when it's weaved with arcane energies, and they're very good at it. It comes natural to elves. Um, so if someone can understand what's happening and maybe reverse it, it's them. So that they are in good hands. If you wish to meet them and see for your own eyes, just travel to the uh, to the islands. Oh, I think maybe in the future right now we have a couple of things to deal with in the north i guess oh, yes uh, you have plans yeah well we'll see <laughs> everything's planned <laughs> plans is exa not exactly <laughs> our uh, yeah, forte. <laughs> we are great at improvising let's put it that way yes somehow i i noticed that already yes <laughs> Come on. Guess, uh, yeah. Enough sad news. I'll buy you a drink as a goodbye. Thank well, you. Well, okay, okay. You kind of disappear into the party and he buys you a drink and you chat for a while. Mm -hmm. you know I turn to him, I turn to him and, and say, like, I point to the to the to the medal and I say, thank you for this. Uh, I'm not sure it was a good idea. It might go to my head and I'll get cocky. <laughs> Even more cocky. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Mm, mm, maybe mm, not possible. He materializes yeah, right. the cock. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, yeah. uh, I should have told you this relayed to your friends. The Nautili Award is not something we get, give out lightly. You are now released from your contracts. I know it sounds silly as you just signed yours. 
I um, never signed it. <laughs> boom, 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 but boom. you have the uh, you have the uh, the responsibility of doing what is right. You now represent the Maritime Council well, with whatever you do. We'll keep that in mind. I'm sure. So war means I trust you enough to know that you won't do anything stupid with the war. <laughs> Curb your whore, Dilly. If you're ever in a situation um, with the Maritime Council or with someone that knows of the Maritime Council, show them the insignia, say you're one of the Nautili, and maybe they can get you out of trouble. Oh, so it's uh, titles as well? Yes, you are now Nautili. Singular Nautilus. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. But let's drink! <laughs> And he kind of <laughs> drink and so on. Uh, does any? Yes. The festival eventually dies down, and you promise a certain someone uh, oh. to go to the port and inform. Uh, yeah, I had a notion that we were heading north. <laughs> okay. So you, so you meet him, um, and he goes, "Ah, right on time. Hello." Hello, so, we might be heading north to the city of birth, oh, the region of birth, of rice birth, is that the, right now? The, the kingdom, I assume, the kingdom of Ilkams, I do not know where your companion was born, but uh, if it's up north, north, then it is the kingdom of Ilkams, correct? Can I roll history just to, to ascertain? I mean, you would know it's. Your yeah, place. right? Okay, <laughs> I'm just making sure because I want to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You will be great help eventually, so. Okay, yes. Ilkams. That might help. Safe I travel. will try and find whatever I can, and I will tell you as soon as I have any answers. Thank you. From the, from the bottom of my heart. Safe travels. Kind of grabs your wrist and kind of holds it tight. Good luck. <laughs> and remember, if you're ever in need of more training and you have nothing else to do, please visit me. I shall. I will not, for I will not, I will not forget this. Ever. Thank you for the help. In the real life, we are bonded for life now, as teacher and student. <laughs> Goodbye. And it turns around. <laughs> Uh, you see the same like people that went with him, the the entourage, let's call it. Uh, they're like waiting in a corner, kind of chatting in dark cloaks. And as he reaches them, immediately they all lock hands and disappear in a swirl of pur purple energy. I go back to the, to the party. Go back. <laughs> and with that, the night goes on, and you enjoy what little you can of the rest of the Heart of the Sea Festival with the notion in mind that tomorrow you will wake up and decide what you'll have to do with your lives. One of <laughs> will you stay in the United Nations? Will you rest for a little longer? Will you go north to fulfill Rai's destiny? Will you go north for other reasons? To fulfill someone else's destiny? Will you go somewhere else? We'll see. And we'll decide it on the next episode of Professional Dice Rollers because it's already late and let's finish it. <laughs> Good night, guys. See ya. Bye. See ya. Thanks, everyone, that was there. I hope you enjoyed it. This was a more like light and mellow type of episode. <laughs> some, uh, some fun games, some fun interactions, and some heartwarming goodbyes and probably you, you weren't expecting. So I hope it uh, it was exciting at least in that part. Good night. Good night. See you next week. See you. Take care.